What are the three key things to remember when fishing muddy waters? Good morning, guys and girls. May the 4th. Let's look at our Catch of the Day for May the 4th. You know, we read the Catch of the Day book. Uh, we read the Catch of the Day daily devotional out of our Catch of the Day book that I wrote several years ago. And it's exclusively, the video is exclusively here on the, the Catch of the Day slash devotional YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to that channel, be sure and subscribe. We put a video up every single morning, 5 a.m. Central Time. And we'll do that for the entire year. I wrote this book several years ago. You can get your own copy by uh, giving us a call at our office, uh, area code 918-457-5115. I think they're $14.95. I'll pay the shipping and handling. I'll even personalize and autograph it for you if you want it for yourself or you want to give one to, to a gift. Uh, it's a great gift book, an absolutely great gift book. The Catch of the Day has a scripture, a devotional, and a fishing tip for every day. So throughout the year, you will become a better person because if you start your day out with a scripture from the Word of God, you're going to become a better person. Plus, you'll be a better fisherman at the end of the year. Even if you've never fished at all, you're going to learn a lot about fishing. Okay, let's look at May the 4th. We're going to be looking at Joshua. You know, I'm a big fan of Joshua. I love Joshua. Joshua 8, 1. The Lord said to Joshua, God himself talking to Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, don't be afraid or give up. Don't be afraid or give up. All right, let's look and see what I wrote about that. Muddy water scares a lot of bass fishermen. When you look at water with coon tracks on top, it can be pretty frightening. The bass, on the other hand, they don't mind at all. They're well equipped with great senses to survive and survive very well in muddy water. They can actually see much better than you would ever imagine. Uh, you know, when we were doing the testing down at the University of Oklahoma with Dr. Lauren Hill, our tanks were 30 foot long, 60 foot long, and actually in clear water, a bass could identify and see a color all the way down to the other end of it, all the way down to the other end. And, and in, in stained water, uh, a bass could see about 20 foot, and in muddy water, it could see still 10 or 15 foot, could see and identify a color and go right to that color. 10 or 15 feet away in muddy water. Now we determined muddy water as uh, dropping a white probe in the water and if it disappears in the first foot and a half, that's muddy water, that's muddy water. Sometimes it disappears disappear in the first few inches. But they can see so much better than you can ever imagine. When fishing in muddy water, here it is guys and girls, it's important to remember three key things. Shallow, shallow, shallow. <laughs> I tricked you on that one. I, I apologize for that. Lord, I apologize for that. That's all you need to remember. Shallow, shallow, shallow. The shallower you fish in muddy water, the more bites you're going to get. Jesus continually told his disciples not to be afraid. He knows that fear is a natural response. We're not sure what's going to happen in a scary situation. That's what scares us. We, did, we don't know the end result. We don't know what's going to happen. All of what America and the world's been through in the last few months, we don't still know the end result. We don't know what's gonna happen, and that's scary sometimes. Of course, you know my motto on all this has been fear not. Our comfort in this is that Jesus does know the outcome. He does know what's gonna happen. He also knows that he will help us and see us through. In fact, he will even bring us through death itself. Can I say that again? He will even bring us through death itself. You know, pretty remarkable thing when that dead man walked out of that grave over 2,000 years ago to prove once and for all that he had the power over death. He told his disciples that he was going to do that. He told them exactly what was going to happen. He told them exactly how it was going to happen. And he told them that three days later, I'm going to walk out of that grave. He did that to prove that he had the power over death. He did that to prove that you and I could do the exact same thing. We're going to walk out of that grave. He even, he even will bring us through death itself. You know, in the uh, 14 or 15 months that we've been doing this Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube channel, uh, we have, we have uh, 
we've lost uh, several close friends. In addition to that, in addition to that, we've had friends that we only know through the YouTube channel that uh, have lost friends and family members, and it's really difficult for me to comfort people when that happens. Uh, it's kind of difficult for people to comfort me when that happens with my friends and family. And uh, But can I tell you that you're going to meet them again one bright day in glory because Jesus has guaranteed that he has the power over death. If you believe in him, if you turned your life over him to him, if you made him Lord of your life, he'll even bring us through death itself. Death itself. Let's look at, look at our tip for today real quickly. Uh, this tip uh, really has got nothing to do with fishing. It's got something to do about making sure that you get to the boat ramp on time. Make sure you get home. Our tip for today is occasionally check and tighten the lug nuts on your boat trailer. Oh, that seemed like such a simple deal. Occasionally check and tighten the lug nuts on your boat trailer. And you will be surprised how many times you'll take a lug wrench out there and you can turn them a quarter of a turn, a half a turn. And they will eventually back off once they get a little bit loose. That's just what nuts do. That's <laughs> you know, just what they do. And, uh, and you just definitely don't want them falling off. I've, uh, I've seen people lose, um, lose tires on the highway, and it's not a pretty sight. Okay, I've done it myself. <laughs> it is definitely not a pretty sight to have a tire come off as you're rolling down the highway off your boat truck trailer. So check them occasionally. Hey, guys and girls, we're in the merry, merry month of May. Go out there and have you a great one today. Remember, I love you.